Hello, and welcome to Office Vlog 03. Hex numbering, remember. Um, this is uh, going to be a slightly different one for a couple of reasons. For one, uh, there's some stuff that's changed over there um, because this, it's not the first time I've tried to record this video. And uh, so I have desks up over there uh, that way. And they're just okay. They're fine. They're not mine. I'm borrowing them just for now. So I have something. I also put up a whiteboard back here tried objectives on and uh that's pretty much it <laughs> uh it was me bringing some stuff in and then uh we took a look at a printer that i think i just want to actually do a full video on because it's kind of cool um and then i took a look at my camera gear which i'll probably should do in a more serious video anyway so that was it not a lot so this video is instead going to be much more important see this This whole space, this is done. It's mine. So it's time to start moving into the office proper. Uh, it's all finally done. So I now have a lot of objectives today. One is just going to be moving my modern computer uh, from, it's just actually on the opposite side of this wall to right here um, as a dedicated spot to set it up. And that's where the hard copy stuff will be done. I also have to do the hard copy stuff now. Uh, I did put it off until after the Windows XP video to get myself as much time as possible on that, but I need to get it done now. I even, actually, after I went to the post office today, as you'll see, had to get 60 stamps so I could mail all those out, but I am fully ready for that. But yeah, oh, dude, it's so exciting. It's all mine, it's done, it's ready. Oh, I'm gonna be putting so much stuff in here today. Um, I've already got the van out front and I'm going to go through and show you some stuff about what I'm bringing in here. But yeah, it's time. I should actually get started on that. So you're going to head back to some past footage where I already knew I was going to record this intro and then I'll catch up with you. All right. In the future, I will have already introduced you to today's objectives. So I'm here at the storage unit now and I'm about to go in there and just start taking everything out that isn't nailed down. Before I go in though, I need to do a couple of little inspections here because I've actually been having some issues with the van I use for all this moving and just, well, daily transportation. Uh, the first problem was this hose right here. Um, not the hose itself, but that pipe it's connected to sheared off at the office, stranding me, dumping all of the coolant out. So that was fun. Uh, you have to take out the air box and then it's like, tucked into the side of the block. It's actually the thermostat housing, so that was fun. Um, then after that happened, these are T-fittings that go to the heater core, and well, one of them isn't a T-fitting anymore. It, after I fix the pressure leak here, um, the plastic on the heater core hoses, which are way in the back there, I don't know if you can see that, I'll put up a picture. Uh, one of those blew off. <laughs> Um, so I've been having cascading plastic cooling part failures in this thing, and I just want to make sure nothing else has failed, because this is the first real drive after replacing these, so I'm a little skeptical that it's going to be all good, but so far everything seems fine. I'm not seeing any leaks underneath, which is a very good sign. It smells like coolant, but there's coolant all over, like down in, you know, there was coolant on that, uh, I think it's a motor mount at one point, but yeah, so it's looking good. I think I have it solved, but I have a five gallon bottle of water in here just in case. Man, it's amazing how much stuff I've taken out of here and it still feels like I haven't accomplished anything. Um, so there were desks here before and they're gone at the office as part of the scrapped moving video. I'll show you me putting those in there, but there really wasn't much to it. Um, but I'm thinking today I'm going to grab those CRTs. This box here, which is actually, uh, you can't see it on that side, a deck box, but it's just full of big box PC games. I have two of those, I think, so that's kind of cool. They're just empty boxes, though, nothing cool. Um, this fish tank, I'm going to leave that. That was part of a retrobrite experiment, and I've decided I don't like retrobriting at all. Uh, I'll take this. Probably, I don't know if I'll use that yet. Um... Those boxes there are also big box PC games, so I will be grabbing those. Um, uh, this couch, so I have a couch. <laughs> it's definitely not going to the office, as was in the house that, you know, I was not allowed to be in anymore after they decided to move or sell it. 
So that was fun. Um, it's not impossible that I could get that shelf out if I pulled the couch forward and put it there, but hmm, I'm going to work on this, see what I can get out. There's some easy other stuff here like this. This has uh, one of those Halloween computers that I want to do a video on at some point. This is the inner packaging for Voodoo 5 box. Um, that should go to the office. Yeah, there's a bunch of stuff that I can grab, so I'm going to start doing that because just Everything has to go now. Here's a trick when it comes to moving CRTs and why I keep towels here. Uh, so this is now padded, basically. My hand sinks into it when I press down. And the reason is I can take a CRT like this. This is a super light monochrome one that I can lift with one arm here. And I'm going to put it in on its face like this because then the glass will rest on the towel rather than move back and forth in the plastic mounts here and possibly break it. It will not break it going down because it would have to crush the post it's mounted to. CRTs are mounted with little tabs that go into the corners here and having the shear stress is what really damaged them. Compressing down on the plastic is not as likely to break them. So I transport all of my CRTs face down like this because that is the safest way to do it. One more trick about this uh, that really only helps van owners is that I will attempt to put uh, CRTs only directly behind the passenger seat because it puts them as close to the center of the vehicle as possible. When you go over a bump, it will be the tires that move up and down. Nothing can push on the center. So everything here has the least amount of travel over bumps and it will be shocked the least amount possible. So putting things in the middle of the vehicle over the two axles is the ideal location for the most fragile items. So there's another tip. So here's something that you haven't seen yet. The other storage unit is the additional one. This is the real storage unit that is, uh, yeah. So this is not how this one was supposed to be. This was my long-term storage unit that I was using before I had to move or anything, and I just filled it completely to the brim. I mean, so full uh, to get everything out of the house. And now I need to start taking stuff out of there, like right there. That's my 486 and you know i want that <laughs> so uh i need to start getting these things out of here um because well i'm gonna need them like here just right here oh look it's a 486 pc 104 system i'm gonna want that actually that goes with that halloween computer but you can't guess what i'm gonna do um not this year do not even get an idea because i mean there's no time uh so yeah that um here we have my drawers of goodies like adaptec uh 2940w um that's just random stuff oh there's that thermal paste i actually needed that oh well <laughs> see this is why this got to go to the office uh, graphics cards. I mean, this Quadro would probably do fairly well in that uh, Windows XP computer, but that's not what I'm here for. But I want that for sure going to the office today. Possibly this, just because it's in the way. Um, all these plastic drawers, there are many. I would like to get those. I don't think I can get to those ones today. Um, I have the sorters up there and more there. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is... Uh, yeah, there's a whole lot in here. I don't think I'm going to be able to put all this in the office. Um, but it would be nice just to be able to eliminate this unit, but I don't think it's going to happen. The office isn't that big, and being on the second floor, there are weight limits that I need to consider. So, yeah. But this is another part of this. Um, anything that doesn't go to the office from the other unit, like the couch, and you probably saw a waterbed frame in there. Yeah, I used a waterbed. I'm cool like that. Um, they're going in here because <laughs> they can't go into the office. Um, so yeah, I'll be doing that. Okay, van is loaded. Um, and there's a lot of stuff in here that's going to be really inconvenient to pull into the office, but it's what I got to do. Um, I'm actually, though, at the post office here because I'm about to check my P.O. box because I was sent a... Oh, man, I got my face real gross up there. <laughs> Yay. Probably the van stuff, and I itched my face. There we go. Uh, I got mail that I need to check. Um, so, yeah, I think I know what everything is that's here, but 
but sometimes there's things I forget about because everyone doesn't always send everything and that's fine. Um, but it just makes it really hard to keep track of things. On um, uh, one note, if you do actually send me something, it's very helpful to send me the tracking information because then I can know when to come pick it up because the informed delivery for this just does not work for me. And I have no idea why I've even tried to get their help here and it is just completely broken for me for some reason. So yeah, I have no idea when I have mail, and at this point, I'm probably just going to make it a regular thing to stop by here on the way to my office at least once a week. There was way more mail than I realized. I know what that is. I know what that is. I think I know what this is, and I don't know what that is, and I don't know what that is. So, okay, that's all right. <laughs> I have no idea what this Walkman PlayStation sticker is, but it is really cool, and now I'm extra curious about what's in this. Man, the cooling system works really well when the coolant stays in the vehicle. And we're back. Um, so, I got uh, the mail stuff right here. I don't know what I'm going to be doing with that fully yet, but uh, I do have it in here. I'm probably just going to leave it there for right now. But uh, everything else is still in the van, so I'm going to go ahead and start bringing that in. I'm not going to film it this time because it's going to be really complicated and it's a lot of little things, so it's just not going to be very fun. But the real move-in finally begins. Oh, I'm excited. Okay, I'm back in the car because I'm back at storage and have more stuff. Uh, I forgot something at home and figured I might as well make the best of it and went to the storage unit and grabbed some more stuff. So today's a double load. Yay! I'm probably gonna end up having to do these anyway, but I didn't plan to today just so I could start organizing and strategizing where things are gonna go, but it's mostly boxes of stuff and, well, computers that have to go, so, eh, might as well. Okay, <laughs> done. Uh, there is now a lot of stuff uh, in here today, and then computers, done. I even have some stuff in the storage room already. Um, so it's nice having those in here because now there are actually vintage computers in this place, including some in these bins. Ooh, we got a, a Tandy 1000 keyboard, a uh, FD502 uh, floppy drive. And we got this one. This is probably, sorry. Oh, that's not supposed to be here. Uh, well, okay. That's video game stuff. That'll actually be going back now. This one's probably Commodore then. Um, no. I have a lot of these silver bins, I guess. Um, more than I realized. That one's just parts that are like not great. Um, I don't think I have any more of those silver bins up here. Do I? Uh, no. Okay, so there's even more of those buried in my big storage unit then. That's good to know. Uh, but anyway, uh, job one here is going to be actually taking these things. Uh, this is this one's actually really nice and strong. I, I got this. It's mini chest brand. Doesn't matter. I, they're all way overpriced. Oh, every single one of these I get is a storage or a thrift store find. Um, these are definitely going over here. So this wall, which will be accessible through this door, which I think I have yeah, locked from the other side. Um, and that'll be open. I might actually take those doors off. Those doors weren't on when I came in here, but uh, the pre-lease finishing deal was that I could lock my stuff up in there and I wanted the doors on, so the stuff was secure. But now that I don't need it, <laughs> so I might actually take the doors back off, which is kind of funny. But anyway, um, that's the main filming area right there. So I could just come out here, grab a couple little things. This will have, uh, these are the parts stuff, uh, sound cards, video cards, uh, hard drive interface, controllers, fans, that kind of thing. So there'll be lots of stuff in there. Um, then I'll have a big one, which this is not really representative of here. That more so is, so we have like motherboards and stuff in a bigger one. And then the second big one has cables. <laughs> That's a lot of power cables right there. It's actually too many power cables. And that shelf uh, collapses all the time. So it's actually reinforced with uh, bolts and washers. <laughs> but yes, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and set those up now. Um, and then everything else will probably be going into the storage room uh, for now. Like the CRTs here, I don't really have a good place for those. Um, that's an Apple Lisa, actually. 
Um, it does not work, and I need a keyboard to make it work. Well, that actually, okay, it's broken, and I don't have a keyboard, so even if it was fixed, I can't use it. Um, so that's where I'm at with that. But it's here, and now that it's here, and I'm going to be uh, set up in a way where I can actually work on things uh, a little bit at a time, because I can like take it out of storage, bring it right over to the electronics area to work on it for a little tiny bit, go, oh, I need this, order that, put Lisa back, and then work on another thing, and not take up like with the one working space I have. This is gonna be phenomenal. Um, but yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, that's really it. There's so many plastic drawers here. That's pretty much everything I need to do. So let me get started on that. Real quick, to everyone who keeps telling me I need to put an Auto G2 ZS in the new XP machine, I know. So this is my trick for when these are holding more weight than they're designed to. I put a bolt in there and then a washer over it so it's not possible for it to slip past the next level although these are getting a little loose here i can say that it works but i'm really overloading these i need a much better solution for heavy cable storage and is one of the things i plan on investigating here at some point now that i'll have all of them in one space which i've never really been able to do because i just have so many of them There is absolutely no plan for how I'm putting this stuff in here right now because uh, there's going to be shelving put up in here, so it doesn't matter. I just need it out of the entryway. Okay, so for the moment, uh, that's everything out of there, except for this, which is going to stay as some printer paper. I'm going to be moving my main desk along this wall into, nope, not there, uh, that corner. Um, and I'm going to be using that to print hard copy printouts, so I'll just leave it there. Um, I am going to go ahead and move the giant deck box full of PC games, and I'm going to put it in the hallway, because I mentioned essentially putting up bookshelves along this wall for PC games, and I really like that idea because I have so many <laughs> that I really have no idea where they're all going to go, and I think that's a good solution. So I'm going to just go ahead and move that there, and then I actually have, uh, this was another thing that got moved in here in that uh, kind of abandoned office block, uh, but those are more big box PC games, and then uh, off over there, uh, right there, you can see stacks of small box PC games. Um, those were for the Windows XP video. I have like between two and 500. I know that's a very rough figure, but I have no idea. I have a lot of them. Um, so yeah, it's that's just small box. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I really need like a good place to put all that stuff. And that wall will work once I can find some bookshelves. I've been checking Ikea for the Billy bookcases like every day, that's a minimum every other day. None of them are in stock and they've actually been going out of stock in the other colors so it's getting even more difficult to find one. So this is really difficult to actually get a bookshelf um, which is really frustrating because I'm staring at that other bookshelf I picked up right now because I put the secret stuff on it and I'm trying to avoid showing it. I may have actually had to blur some shots in the background here um, because it's really cool and I want you guys to enjoy it as it is in one video rather than have it spoiled and then not be able to fully experience it as it's meant to because it's really cool. I know I keep teasing it. I really don't mean to. I just didn't think it would be so difficult to find bookshelves. But yeah, here we are. So, uh, all right, let me move the PC games into here right now. And then 
I want to take a look and mail stuff. I'm probably gonna have to record a mail video and then open up. Oh, no, 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 not yet. Not on that, that. I gotta move my desk. <laughs> That's next. Um, yeah, that really has to happen. So, all right, PC games, desk. Okay, now to move that there, which really isn't a huge deal, but you know, it's gotta be done. Uh, I actually have two desks that are basically that same size. And my plan is to put this one in front of the other one in L shape now. So the other one will go along this wall eventually here. And then the one here, because it has the easily removable legs instead of actually flat sides, that's what the other one is as well. It's got wood sides. Um, I'll remove the leg that'll be up front and then it'll be an L-shaped desk and then I'll attach them together somehow. So I'm gonna put this one along that wall even though I'd actually like it there for right now. But in the meantime, until I have that, I'm gonna move this folding table I've been using as like a catch-all um, over there and then do that. All right, the desk is moved and I have the other table and my water crock actually, I want some water uh, over here and uh, it's getting set up now. This is turning out to be a far more exhausting day than I thought it would be when I began. Mm. Okay, so I'm going to be setting this up properly this time. Uh, so I have my computer there and it's going to be going on the other side because of the L shape. Um, and it's going to be connected to this. This is a DVI audio and USB KVM. And I am looking forward to having that. I'm gonna have an alternative set up over here for me to bring a laptop and then connect it to here. Um, now this is a DVI KVM, laptops, I've never seen one with DVI at least, um, but this will pass through HDMI, um, which is something I plan to do because I also have this four in one out HDMI switch that I'm going to be using with a Nintendo Switch um, because I like to have uh, something to kill the time. So say when I'm going to be printing off like 40 of the uh, hard copy things to mail out, it's gonna be nice to have that to be able to relax with. Uh, my phone is actually sitting on the foot pad from my Eckhorn's uh, chair from my hi-fi area. And I'm gonna be having that off into that corner because it'll just be nice to be able to relax every now and then. I just actually took a little bit of a break over there and it was very nice. I'm glad I brought it here. Okay, there we go. I think that's all set up now. Okay, that all looks good here. Let's see if the dock setup worked. Alrighty, uh, go ahead and take those off. I'm gonna bring a Pro Controller today, so this should just switch over. That. Perfect. Oh uh, yeah, that will be really nice. Um, I won't be playing stuff here all the time though, but it'll just be handy to have. And then um, all I have to do is just lift this out and it'll go back to the PC. Perfect. Um, internet, I sort of have internet right now. I'm using the uh, my internet service provider's local hotspot for this building that they have for some reason. But uh, this is working out okay at best. It's actually pretty terrible, but uh, it gives me something at least. Okay, so now let's take a look at how the hard copy stuff here is going to be set up. Um, I'm switching to the ThinkJet because now I know I can use it, um, I think. We'll, we'll see in a moment. Um, and uh, this will allow me to do this. I do want to use the ThinkJet for the uh, printouts that I send people because it's going to be clearer and more predictable 
rather than the pins on the dot matrix with the fabric ribbons. This is just going to look better for people. So I think that that's a good call. Um, but this is the USB printer adapter I have, and I have two printers here, and I realistically can't just keep swapping this back and forth between them. So I've connected printer cables to these, and, well, they're the wrong thing that's not even close. So uh, here's what I have to do. I need to use a data switch, which is a printer switcher, but it's also um, not the right thing here. So I have this gender changer thing. It's actually female to female. Um, and I'm going to plug that into the USB adapter here and then connect that. And then I have to connect a whole printer cable to that. And then I can connect this to the data switch and, and the uh, main one here. And then I can connect, uh, let's say, the ThinkJet here to this. And now if I hit enter over here, bingo, it'll actually be paper. Um, and then I can connect the wheel rider over here and then do that and then do this. Bingo, that went. I don't have paper in there. There we go. Now you can see it'll feed the paper. Um, and then with this, I can switch between the two and I'm gonna have to have these whole cable thing here. Um, this brings me to something that some people have asked about. Um, at the end of my videos, I've been trying to cycle around different things uh, that you can do to help me make videos like buy t-shirts, become a patron, or, or uh, one-time PayPal donations. Uh, so one thing people asked about was doing an Amazon wish list. So I set one of those up and one of the things that I put on there was a uh, different type of USB printer adapter that won't need the weird gender changer and all this kind of stuff. Um, and then it's just two of them because then I don't need a data switch at all and I can just connect both printers to the computer and it would be LP0 and LP1. And then my script could actually continuously print these off as it also prints the envelopes, which would be way better, much more time efficient rather than needing to switch back and forth between those two. So uh, that is now an option as well. But uh, that's just one example. Um, I'm going to make this work for now, but it's something that could be improved upon uh, in the future. Okay, so the desk area is set up, and I'm liking that. I need to put the blue chip printer and the uh, scanner underneath the uh, other table there, but that'll work out. You can see the uh, paper box underneath of that table to feed up to the ThinkJet. That's kind of fun. It wouldn't fit on the uh, underneath the actual printer stand, but I needed it for that data switch for now anyway, so that's fine. Oh, here you can see the Eckhorns. That chair rocks. Oh, oh yes. This is, this is the way chairs should be. Oh man, I really like this chair a lot. I'm glad I can fit it in here. Uh, but let's see. Uh, there was more I wanted to do today. I ended up putting all the mail stuff uh, back in this corner here. Be careful not to show any address labels uh, and docs people. Actually, no, I can see that's all blocked off. <laughs> but yeah, so there's the start of the mail corner. In reality, this is eventually going to become like a little kitchen area thing. It'll be a mini fridge there. And then I have a pizza cooker on <laughs> uh, here that I'm going to put on there that I will actually really use. Um, here's all my cable stuff that we put in here today. I forgot about the uh, serial cable box. I moved that there because that makes much more sense. But seriously, this cable method of organizing, oh, okay, so these two are parts, all right? That's, that's you know, that. But all of those are, like, all, well, okay, no, this one's also parts, but just, like, electronics parts. I didn't show this. This is actual, like, organized stuff kind of digi key bags and just like dev board and yeah this actually goes in the electronics area when it's all said and done but for right now it's going there but how should you organize cables this is a question that i've had uh for years and this is obviously not the solution so i need to figure this out because this really sucks um I'm thinking about getting, uh, oh, I have some here, one moment. Uh, okay, so one thing I'm considering are these. Um, so these are like Uline 
containers. Now these I just ended up with for free. I didn't actually have to buy these. Um, but I could put a lot of individual small cables in there. So like mini USB, micro USB, you know, just individual cables. So that would be like what these small ones would be for, but they come in bigger containers as well. And you can get them like the width of these and then the width of those down there. So I was looking at that. Um, they're not all Uline. These may not even be, they might just be generic. I think Harbor Freight sells some for dirt cheap. Um, but I was thinking about getting one or two of those. That would be huge and take up like this whole wall and then organizing the cables that way. So I'm considering that. I think that could be interesting, but I'm concerned about capacity. Like that thing is full to the brim. And that's not even like half of all the cables. It's just, that's what I could put in there. Um, I have, I mean, if we look around here, there's cables just uh, sitting there. Um, over here, I have, there's more. Uh, that's also full of cables. These here. They're full of cables. It's just the curse of vintage computers. Well, computing in general, really, uh, you just have tons and tons of cables. It's going to be that way. So I'm trying to figure out what makes the most sense for organizing them. Um, and so far, these are the best thing I can think of. So I'm looking into that, but I'm very curious to hear what other people recommend. So uh, there's that. That's one thing. Uh, I moved these all here. Bookshelves are just impossible to find. I can't believe it. And then the ones on Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace are either free or 20 bucks or 300 because they think that it, because they inherited it from their grandparents and it's made of wood, it must be worth something when it's still just the same cheap particle board stuff. So uh, the computers here, um, I left those there because uh, that's, a, that's a whole thing. I have vintage KVMs, but I'm also going to be doing some different stuff. So the Extron, it's already antiquated. I bought another one. Um, so it was going to be several hundred dollars worth of cables to make that uh, RGBHV system work. I don't know where it went. This place isn't even that big and I'm already losing stuff. Um, and it was actually like 60 bucks to just get a VGA one. <laughs> Uh, so I bought a VGA, uh, Extron switch thing. It's got eight VGA imports. Uh, maybe, I don't remember, but it's, it has a bunch in, all right. And then it has, I think four outputs and then it also switches video, which is S video, chrominance, luminance. Um, but it means that I can connect these to that rather than the KVMs that I've been using. And then I won't need to switch with a KVM and it'll be a lot better. And then VGA capture, because I can split with the Extron, because it's a cross point, I can split between the Extron's capture output and a monitor output. So that'll be nice. So, okay, I think that is it. And I need to end this video um, because moving everything in today, the two trips that were both fairly heavy was a lot more work than I thought. Um, so I'm thinking I might call this enough for now. On that note, the editing. Now I said I might edit here. The more I think about it, the more I'm really, it's not going to happen. Um, I still need a computer that's capable of editing here. Um, not because it's required, um, well, to edit here. It's, it's, it's really a good idea for me to have two computers I can edit in case one breaks, then I would be hosed. Um, on that note... <laughs> Part of the reason this entire video shot on my phone, my server power supply died again. Um, and I'm waiting for a new one to be delivered tomorrow. Tomorrow's actually gonna be a pretty interesting day. Um, and I'm looking forward to that. But uh, I don't have access to any of my footage uh, from Blackmagic stuff. And I don't want to make a ton of high bitrate, super huge files on this today and then not have anywhere to put them because my server's down, so that's a problem. Uh, my desktop does actually have a fair amount of storage, in it, like 10 terabytes or something, but it's all like personal files. Um, I can't really delete all of those just to make the room, so yeah, um, that kind of sucks. So phone will hold all the footage and then it's not that much, so that's why that's today. But hopefully the power supply will get here and fix the server. I'm not 100% sure that it's a power supply. It could be a dead, E5-2690, I think that's what those are, um, but I don't know. <laughs>
I'll find out when it's a power supply. I'll find out if it's a power supply when it gets here because I'm, it's always a power supply for me. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this office vlog. Um, this is a little different for me filming with my phone. I'm not using a selfie stick. This is actually a whole tripod <laughs> um, that I'm holding. Um, and it's a little cute tiny bell bond, which is what I use on my camera. I found it at a thrift store and I was like, oh, I gotta have that. It's awesome. It's one of my favorite things I've found. Um, so I'm using it with my phone. <laughs> it's, it's great. Um, but that, that's it. Uh, I like this solution. This works pretty well. I might try this more um, for these vlogs. Now, as I end this video, um, I do want to ask, okay, um, some of you seem to really enjoy these videos, which is cool because, I mean, this place is a disaster. I can't exactly start recording real videos yet. I had to force the Windows XP video to happen, and you can see the disaster that it left in its wake that I still need to clean up and spend time on that. And I'm spending time doing things like this and lots of stuff. Um, so making these gives me something to put out in the short term. Um, but does everyone like these? And I want to know, um, cause I have a second channel and I could put these up on there. It'll give me a drought on the main channel of stuff while I'm doing all of this that I can't not do. Um, but if people are tired of the office vlogs, um, let me know. So I'm going to make a, uh, I guess, a poll on the YouTube community tab. Do you like these? Do you want them on the main channel or the second channel? And then on Twitter as well for people who don't see that because the majority of people will never see uh, the YouTube community poll who are on desktop, but they might follow me on Twitter. Um, and I highly recommend you follow me on Twitter if you do Twitter. Um, I enjoy it a lot. So, uh, that's about it. I have fun on there. So that's, that's the thing. <laughs> um, but yeah, so let me know. You can even just comment. Uh, I read every single comment that's ever put on my channel. Um, so yeah, just let me know. Um, do you like these? Do you want them on the main channel or do you want them on a second channel? But putting them on a second channel doesn't mean that there's going to be more stuff that happens because this is all still stuff that just has to happen. So, uh, it would just mean that the main channel doesn't get videos for a while. So basically, tell me if you don't like the office vlogs. That's just really what this comes down to. But anyway, that's it for now. Um, I am going to go edit this. Um, not on that computer, because that one, I, it actually can, um, but that's about it. Uh, it, really, it. It's not pleasant, and it has no internet, sort of. <laughs> it's really broken. Anyway, that's it for now. Um, this was a good day. It was a tiring day. I almost took a nap in the chair, but that's it. So anyway, I need to sign this off or I will just keep talking. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if you do enjoy them. And then uh, I'll see you next time. Tomorrow's going to be interesting. I'm going to try and film and we'll see how it goes.